This video is called Towards Social Sustainability. And perhaps, Lars Jakob, it's, it's easier to envision the opposite, an unsustainable society. Envision a society where there's high crime, lots of corruption, lots of poverty, human rights violations, and so on. Mm -hmm. And the lack of trust as perhaps a result of that. Envision living in a society like that, that is not sustainable, that cannot sustain neither the environment nor the economy. It's not a good place to run a company, it's not a good place to be a citizen. So, what we are talking about in this video is what might a sustainable society look like? What are the societal conditions, or for that matter, the societal boundaries that make uh, society is a good place to run a company, a good place to be a citizen, to be a consumer, an employee, and so on. A sustainable society, then, is dependent on education and innovation. We cannot turn back time to 1750, uh, but we are going to turn time forward to 2050. So what kind of society do we want, then? And how can we educate people and how can we innovate? To, to, to create a better society, to take care of environment, and also have a good and well-functioning economy. And much like we talk about planetary boundaries when we discuss environmental sustainability, we might talk about societal boundaries when we talk about social sustainability. Think about the nature of human rights violations, corruption, other kinds of social problems, poverty, and so on. Any society can endure, let's say, a little bit of each of these problems. It's hard to envision a society where we get rid of all of those problems 100%. However, when there's too much corruption, when there are too many human rights violations, trust breaks down. Society starts to crumble. The social fabric starts deteriorating. And this is exactly what we're talking about when we talk about social sustainability. How can a society endure over time by making sure that we get rid of human rights problems, corruption issues, poverty issues, health-related issues, and all of the other things that matter for human beings in a society. So how then can we design business models that can contribute to this social sustainability? If you think about the role of companies in creating social sustainability, think about examples like Unilever, who, when they went into Asia, made women's empowerment one of the key strategic uh, goals of, of the company. So that meant that they started building a business model in countries in Asia where the role of women in the economy became a central issue. That means that by building their operations in Asia they were also contributing to gender equality in the countries where they operated. Another example of a business model that can contribute to uh, social sustainability is social entrepreneurship. Today we see many social entrepreneurs who point out different social problems out there. It could be rehabilitation of drug addicts, for instance, or it could be education of poor people in, in, in rural areas in, in Africa. Common for these business models is that they, they wrap a business model around this problem. They go in and they educate people or they hire people that would not else get jobs. And in that way, they contribute to uh, a society with trust, with education, with better institutions, and so on. And the same thing can be said about issues like poverty. Think about producers in the food sector, companies that produce smarter fertilizer to help agriculture in poor countries. As an extension of what those companies do and what their businesses are made to deliver, they contribute to reducing poverty and solving other social problems in the markets where they operate. We call this video Towards Social Sustainability. We described what an unsustainable society could look like and what kind of role business can play and have to play in order to achieve social sustainability. If you think about the indicators of social sustainability that we've discussed, many of them are sort of invisible until they disappear. We don't think about trust when we have trust. We don't think about peace when we have peace. But once those indicators of social well-being start deteriorating, we quickly understand that living in an unsustainable society is a very unfavorable position. Therefore, 
Approaching more social sustainability is crucial for individuals, for companies and indeed for the planet.